Hi everyone. If you are looking for the best gaming CPU or the best CPU for workstations, there are only two choices to pick from: Intel and AMD. I already have a clear winner here, but do ask this more so that you can form your own conclusion. If you are new on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe for latest updates. So let's start this video. The first thing that we will talk about in this video is the CPU architecture as this is going to be the basis for CPU performance. Intel still uses the Skylake design that was released in 2015 in its new Comet Lake is desktop processor. Now Rocket Lake is the latest architecture used by Intel. Those people who don't know its register size, this is based on 40 nanometer process that is built in house and although it provides good gaming performance amd however is using the gen 2 and gen 3 architectures which make use of the 7 nanometer fab process from a third party company that's right amd actually doesn't manufacture its own chips but rather amd makes deal with taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company that will cpu for them the company basically provides the blueprint to the third party company for manufacturing so what i think about this in my terms it is being speculated that amd with new 7 nm based third generation processors will finally be able to match or beat intel in all aspects Just because of a smaller node, AMD got success in fitting more registers into processors. The next thing that we will discuss about is performance. So, what about performance? Well, that really depends on what you intend to do with your PC. The Intel Core i9 11th generation K chip is the fastest gaming CPU in the market in 2021, and that is thanks to its higher core clocks compared to its competitors. Intel tots Rocket Lake's 90% IPC improvement and high clock speeds that stretch up to 5.3 GHz. Some games are GPU intensive while some are both CPU as well as GPU intensive, so you will be able to run most games with a processor having good single core performance. Now, when we talk about productivity and content creation workloads, AMD takes the cake because AMD CPUs have more cores and threads. Each one of them can be utilized to speed things up among other things. For example, here Intel i9 11900K chipset have 8 cores, 16 threads, having base clock speed of 3.5 GHz and max clock speed of 5.2 GHz, while it has L3 cache of 16 MB. On different side, AMD have 16 cores, 32 threads, having base clock speed of 3.4 GHz. and max clock speed of 4.9 GHz while it has L3 cache of 64 MB just because of this aspects if you render a video the higher core count in AMD Ryzen CPU just makes it so that you can finish it in matter of minutes but you can't rely only on processor clock speed but also processor optimization matters and intel chips are highly optimized than AMD In terms of integrated graphics performance, there is no beating AMD. Company current generation Picasso APUs offer the best performance available from integrated graphics. So the next thing we will talk about this is overclocking. There is no debate when you compare Intel versus AMD CPU overclocking. Intel offers the most overclocking headroom, meaning you can gain more performance over the baseline speed with Intel chips than you can with AMD Ryzen processors. True enough. You can take the Intel Core i9 11900K chipset and overclock its core to go beyond 5 GHz easily which translate an amazing performance uplift especially in games while you can technically overclock Ryzen CPUs you cannot go beyond its boost clock speed simply because of the architectures and technologies that company has used as mentioned you will have to pay a premium for Intel K series chips and purchase a pricely jade series motherboard to unlock the best overclocking powers what amd is doing actually good since people can get the maximum performance out of the box without much tweaking when comparing amd versus intel cpu in power and heat the former 7 nm process node makes a huge difference intel has improved its 14 nanometer processes to strengthen its power to performance ratio by more than 70% in the 5 long years it's been on the market But it's no coincidence that Intel's latest chips are known for high power consumption and heat. That leads to problem with some stock coolers and also requires robust power delivery on your motherboard. In contrast, AMD has the benefit of TSMC 7 nanometer node, which is more efficient than Intel's 14 nanometer. Still, in aggregate, 
एम डी सेवन नैनोमीटर चिप्स इधर कंज्यूम लेस पावर और प्रोवाइड मच बेटर पावर टू परफॉर्मेंस एफिशियंसी एज ए रिजल्ट यू विल गेट मोर वर्क डन पर वाट ऑफ एनर्जी कंज्यूम्ड विच इज ए विन विन एंड एम डी कूलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट कैन बी फुलफिल्ड बाई स्टॉक कूलर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इंटेल प्रोसेसर पावर कंजप्शन इज क्वाइट बैड वाइल इंटेल प्रोसेसर आर बेटर ओवर क्लॉकर्स ओवरऑल दिस रिजल्ट इंटेल चिप्स आर मोर पावर हंग्रियर चिप कंपेयर टू एनी ऑफ ए एम डीज मेन स्टीम डेस्कटॉप सिप यूज प्राइसिंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सिडरेशन फॉर एलमोस्ट एवरी वन एंड इंटेल इज जनरली हार्ड टू बीट इन द वैल्यू डिपार्टमेंट द प्राइस ऑफ इंटेल आई थ्री प्रोसेसर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एलेवन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ऑनवर्ड्स एंड आई फाइव फ्रॉम फोर्टीन थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी ऑनवर्ड्स ऑन द अदर साइड एम डी राइजन थ्री सीरीज प्रोसेसर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी ऑनवर्ड्स एंड राइजन फाइव सीरीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अप्रॉक्स एटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ इंटेल आई सेवन प्रोसेसर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड ऑनवर्ड्स एंड आई नाइन प्रोसेसर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ऑनवर्ड्स ऑन द अदर साइड एम डी राइजन सेवन सीरीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड ऑनवर्ड्स एंड राइजन नाइन सीरीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑनवर्ड्स तो वी सटनली कैंट से डैट फॉर इट्स के सीरीज प्रोसेसर Intel not only charges a premium for its clockable case series chips but you will also need to sell out for a pricey Z series motherboard for the privilege of overclocking your processor Intel does not allow overclocking on B or H series motherboards After watching this video I hope you will get an idea which CPU works best for you Thanks for watching this video If you are new here please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get latest updates This will encourage me to do something better for you in the near future. Thanks. If you look into the laptop market, you will get the craziest results about these two companies. When it comes to the mobile processors that are built into laptops, Intel takes the crown here. While AMD has already started rolling out its mobile processors, Intel still takes the cake simply because of raw performance without being too power hungry. When you look at gaming laptops on the market, you will find that the best ones are those that are inbuilt with intel chips it would be interesting to see how amd would respond to intel in near future thanks for watching this video